Hello guys and welcome. Today I'm um, just going to show you uh, some of the reasons why I think you should consider whether to buy this Vincent smart sofa or not. Because I purchased this in February <clears throat> and then I did a review, um, you know, with what I have seen with regards to the sofa. Today I'm coming back again about five months down the line to tell you that you probably need to put some things into consideration before you go ahead to purchase the uh, sofa. First thing is that I need you to understand to know that this sofa is made of fiber and not the cushions. The difference is that the cushions is like the foam, you know, when you press squash it, it comes out. But in the case of the uh, fiber, it doesn't really come out depending on what a part of the sofa uh, that is the one of the part that I have problem with at the moment is the armrests. You can see this place sinks, but it doesn't come out. It's been like this for the past two months, um, as well as that one, and as well as the other one, as well as the other one. So what I'm trying to let you know is that the armrest is not fully packed with enough fiber inside of them. So as a result of that, there are, there are quite a few uh, space inside the armrest, giving room for ribs to kind of sink and not come out again. But if it was in the case of the foam, which is the cushions, obviously, as soon as you lift your arm, the cushion comes out. But this one sinks, but it doesn't come out, all right? So I reported this to DFS over and over again, and they only sent one guy to come have a look to teach us how we're going to be plumbing it. But then my worry is that upon the plumbing, it doesn't really return back to the original position, just like this place. All right. So if you look at it now, this place, this particular place, you know, there's a hollow here, you know, which is not corresponding to this part of the sofa as well as the other side, most especially where the elbows go. You know, when you're comfortably sitting on your sofa, your elbow goes here, you know, like this, you do some things. But the moment you lift your arm completely, you see that that part it's not coming out just like you're seeing right here very critical it's very obvious it's not something that you will not see so and then the same thing is applicable to the rest of the arms as well so what i'm the problem i have at the moment is with the armrest and as well as one of the recliners of the three seaters you know it's got two recliner one on this side the other one on that side i'm going to show you that um this is what i'm talking about pressing the button here is not responding, all right? But then if you press the button on this side, you can see that this is responding, okay? So, this has been like that for the past, for since, since I purchased the sofa, they delivered it with one of the recliners not working, which they acknowledged that they we're going to uh, change the three-seater for me. But then I've been trying my best since then to speak to DFS. It's not been fruitful. Uh, most times when I call, they hold me on the phone for like 30 minutes before I'm able to speak to someone. Um, and anytime I speak to someone, it's like they will just collect whatever you've got to say and say, tell you, they will pass it over to one of the uh, site managers. And then it might take three months, three weeks before the one site manager calls you to discuss it with you. So I have done this over and over again. And I'm, until this moment, you know, when you say from February, March, April, May, June, July, August, that's over five months down the line since I purchased this, they have not been able to resolve the problem with the recliner of the three-seater. All right. So I spoke to them about that. They have not been able to solve it. And I spoke to them with regards to the hollow on the armrest. They have not been able to do anything about it. So I am coming out to tell people to let you know that you need to think about all of these things before you go ahead to purchase it, it is now your choice to either choose to buy it or not. But I think it will be very nice for me, since I did first review with regards to the sofa when it was newly delivered, when everything was absolutely fine, um, I, I did a review. But now, five months down the line, I think I need to tell you exactly what uh, the uh, negative thing showing up with regards to the sofa. So that's what I've got for you today. So upon this, I'm going to rate the sofa for over 10. That's what I would say. Apart from the fact that it's got this mechanism, the all smart thing and all of that, well, which is good, but then you still have to put some beat into consideration as well when you are buying the sofa. Not only the smart, not only the uh, 
the reclining power of this two sofa, which is very lovely, and that this charger. Uh, but you still have to put in some of the, you know, put some things into consideration as well. So apart from all of that, I think the rest is fine for now. <laughs> I don't know what's going to happen in the next five months, but at least five months the line of home purchase. These are the points that I've noticed. These are the thoughts that I've noticed. So that's why I'm pointing out to you that you need to first of all look critically into that before you go ahead to purchase that. First, in summary, is that the armrests are not fully packed. It's giving room for space, you know? It's not fully packed. If you press this place, you see that it's not really got enough fiber in it. But this place has got enough. You see that? So, but this place doesn't have, as well as that, that, and that one as well. So, I think the armrest of the sofa in general are not fully packed. That's number one. Number two, check the recliners when they arrive. And make sure that they are functioning properly before you let the courier service leave and number three make sure you you uh, check the buttons as well the reclining buttons this the smart reclining buttons on the two-seater make sure you check everything and make sure it is functioning well take note of everything before you let the courier uh, the, uh, guys leave your property otherwise they might think it is your responsibility and i think it's you you're the one who broke it so take note of all of those things, but until the, maybe I'll be doing another review in the next five months, I don't know, to tell you exactly how I feel with the sofa, but now I am giving it 4 over 10. And as well as the customer service of the EFS at the moment is totally nothing to write to me about. I'm telling you, it is nothing to write to me about. Before, it doesn't used to be, because I've been with them for the past eight years, they're quite responsive, they attend to you very critically, but now I think something has gone wrong. You call them. 40 minutes on the phone, nobody's responding. Even if they respond, that doesn't mean they're going to solve your problem. Someone is still going to transfer you over or take your whatever you've got to say. They will minute it down and send it over when they are able to get available uh, service or uh, store manager, what have you. So I think up until now, they've not been able to solve my problem. I just come to let you know. So until then, when our next time, when I'll be coming to talk to you with regards to these guys, have a nice day and take care. Bye.